All right, Zach, let's film Thor 2. All right, I just gotta change my shirt. <laughs> what? Kyle, oh my God. I'm not that ugly, am I? <laughs> the hammer wielding, lightning striking, ultra badass God of Thunder is back. And this time, he doesn't live up to the first film. When Thor The Dark World begins, we immediately see the repercussions of the events that took place in the Avengers. But Zack, you haven't done a review on the Avengers yet. You can't just go farther into the Marvel Cinematic Timeline. Well, too bad. This is our channel, and we'll do the movies in whatever order we want to. Anyway, the events of the Avengers have changed everything, and Thor is trying to fix all of the bad that has happened in the realms. However, through Jane's curiosity, all goes awry and she accidentally wakes up the Dark Elves led by Malekith, who wishes to leave the realms in a shroud of darkness and end all life. Thus, Thor must save the day and defeat an evil greater than any that has ever been seen. Thor the Dark World is much different than its predecessor. While the action is much greater, almost every other aspect in the movie is worse. The story's tone, for example, is much darker, which in its own right is kind of awesome, but compared to the first, it's just missing something, it's it's not as fun. Not to mention, the writing is much choppier and distracted me many times. But easily, the biggest fall was the humor. I don't know if this is because I love the humor in the first one so much, but to me, every joke in this movie fell flat. I understand that the director didn't want this to seem exactly like the first film, and I do applaud that. But the movie is just not as good in the story department. The cast between Thor and the Dark World is a mirror image. All of the returning cast are just as great in the Dark World as they were in the original film. However, there is the addition of Malekith, played by Christopher Exultin. Exultin. How come I get every name that's impossible to pronounce? I'm just, fuck this. I'm not familiar with Malekith in comic form, so I'm unsure how true he is to the character. But what I got from this is that he's just weird. And sometimes it pulled me out of a concept that was already a little out there. God of Thunder, Mischief, Asgard. I mean, like, you gotta be pretty weird to pull someone out of that. However, he did look awesome. Like, really awesome. But no, 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 I can't give that credit to him. That credit belongs to the... Once again, here's where the movie shines, only this time, figuratively. <laughs> this movie, put simply, is visually so. Everything from the effects to the costumes, they just look amazing. And once again, the Blu-ray quality adds to this. However, the score, when compared to the first film, just doesn't have the same punch. Even though the audio quality is just as good, if not better. This time around, we get to see much more of the realms, as opposed to Earth. And they look beautiful which is really the only big problem I had with the first film. When all is taken into account, Thor The Dark World is not as good as the first film. However, it is still a treat to watch. I honestly think with more touch-ups in the writing that this movie could have easily have been as good, if not better, than its predecessor. I would say buy this movie at full price. However, these movies are pretty expensive. Don't you have enough money yet, Disney? So, I am forced to give my personal insight, which is wait for it to go on sale. Because Thor The Dark World gets a 7 out of 10. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and share it on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All the links for those can be found in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe by hitting that big button over there. And while you're at it, why not click that email checkbox so that our videos don't get buried with all the other channels you're subscribed to. I'm Zach. And I'm Kyle. And we're Battlefront, Battlefront Productions. Productions. Really? Can you make the subscribe button bigger than us? Well, it is pretty than us. <laughs>